So this is a slightly basementy two bedroom. <clears throat> you can see what I mean by being slightly below ground. It's got this one large multi-purpose living room, dining room. It's got very high ceilings because it starts out <laughs> below ground. Um, it's listed with somebody who, my, in my experience, only lists bank foreclosures. And it has a brand new refrigerator that's never been used. So I'm thinking this is a foreclosure that the bank sensibly came in and did basic repairs, put in a brand new refrigerator so that <clears throat> timid buyers won't have to worry about how you renovate a kitchen. As you can see, it's a very small kitchen. It's kind of slightly tight. Um, anyway, it's also the kind of property, frankly, you'll see when we get to the bedrooms. This room is kind of nice, but when you get to the bedrooms, you realize that, in fact, there's a great picture on the virtual tour for this property that's this room, but I swear that somehow they have taken the picture and made it look like it's a two-story atrium living room, and that if anything, it's on the second or third floor and not slightly below the first floor. That's, that's what it looked like to me. Anyway, um, you can see the bedrooms, here's one of them, are a little bit dark. They only have this one little window which is up above and looks into the courtyard. There's a lady with her baby and her dog. <laughs> looks into the common courtyard. This community is called Bishop's Gate and a long time ago I actually knew a realtor who was showing property to a couple over here uh, probably in the early 90s, maybe even the late 80s, and uh, their mothers, or somebody's mother came and she was mugged. <laughs> this 15th Street used to be the kind of place where if you just stood around, you would be mugged. Um, and uh, needless to say, they didn't buy here because she was mugged. This was, however, about 20 years ago. She was mugged in the middle of the afternoon, standing, waiting for someone to show up at the front gate and let her in to look at the property <laughs> that her children would be living in and having her visit them in. Anyway, um, it's got high ceilings throughout. It also has terrifically loud, as you can hear, bathroom exhaust fans. Uh, which I think is just another sign that this is like, this is foreclosed on and maybe slightly abandoned. Another reason I think it's foreclosure, besides um, the fact that the woman who has it listed as a foreclosure specialist, and that it's got a brand new refrigerator, is that this is the kind of property that in a hot market nobody would buy because, or rather, that's when it would sell because nobody really wants to live a few steps underground, even in a closed gated community and even with high ceilings. So you only do it when everything else that's this size that you're bidding on has multiple bids and you are always beaten out by the people who don't have a 95% loan, but can actually put down a lot of cash and, uh, you know, or have all cash or, have other favorable things they can put in a contract that you, as somebody who actually needs to borrow a lot of money, and can, can only barely afford it, can't. And then you, this is where you end up because you're in that situation. E either that or you move one zip code farther away from where you want it to be. Those are the moves one makes in a hot multiple bid type market. The result is, is that it's more likely that somebody's financially marginal would end up owning this and therefore it's more likely they would be foreclosed on, especially if they took some kind of teaser rate loan where there was an adjustable rate mortgage that started shooting up. Right at the time, the real estate market was slowing, so they thought they were gonna flip this after living in it for three years for a profit, but in fact, they could only break even. But that's all just kind of a guess on my part. Who knows? At any rate, it looks like both the community's water supply and a big vent to the garage. There is a garage here. <laughs> it was right outside your window. Nevertheless, it's a big space. It's 595.